Hey guys, what is going on? KGS here. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set up the brand new 5M server. So yeah, it's pretty complicated, but not really once you kind of figure out what you're doing. It took me a while to just play around with it. it I started at uh, 12, and it's 5 hours later, and I finally am able to make a video on it. So yeah, let's go ahead go to this link link in the description go to the latest version it will this just barely updated and i've already downloaded and all that so you're going to want to go and click download click this right here it's right here so i'm not going to download it another prerequisite is you're going to want to have this copied to a file i'm going to show you how you're going to use that in a second and you're also going to have to download one last thing. I know, I'm asking a lot of you. So you're going to want to click download this. Download zip. So we have these two files right here. And in fact, I am going to save this as a file that you can download through like Google Drive or something. I'll have the link in the description once I figure it out. It may not be up right away, but... I'll try and get everything to where you can just easily download. So another thing you're going to want to do is download this right here. Uh, Notepad++, so you can use the installer or the minimalist package. I don't care what you choose. Download it and use it. I have already downloaded and installed it. So now what you're going to want to do, we're not going to use that yet. You're going to want to open up a uh, file explorer. You're going to want to go to your local disk C, you're going to want to click new folder and basically you're going to create a folder called fx server very very important then what you're going to want to do is open up this right here let's side screen it open this up open this up just drag and drop everything in here sorry if it's a little fast paced i've been trying to do this for five hours gotta love it so we can already just close out of that while it's doing that. We're going to go ahead and open up the uh, CFX server uh, data thing. So this is where all your resources would go. This is your actual server. So what you're going to want to do with here, you're going to want to open up a new folder. Call it server data. Then go ahead and open up server data master. Move that over here. And this is where you're going to need this. Uh, link will be in the description to this page along with the actual just download link to this file. You're going to want to just copy and paste it into Notepad++. Then you're going to want to save as. And let's go to um, computer, FX server, server data, server.cfg. Click save. And let's go to forum. So here's where we split off in two places look so server development you can go to server discussion that's where you're going to see where everything is server tutorials is where this video is going to get posted then let's go to releases and just get like car damage system so also if you guys want to see this i might might uh set up a server for this, I've got one sort of set up. It's KGS ISP, but it was the old system, but I can just quickly port it over. It's not the hardest thing in the world. So let's just move this over. Uh, let's close out of this. I'm gonna basically show you how to start it up once again. Let's rename this. No. The health. So then what we're going to go ahead and do is edit with Notepad++. Start the health. Save. Then C FX server server data C 
as you can see, this is why it takes so long to step anything up. There we go. And that health was enabled. So it's that simple. Now I'm gonna just kinda go over this. So here's where you add your resources. So I'm pretty sure this is where you'll allow if so we're gonna wanna do is just have Lambo menu in your 5M client installed and uh, load up your server and just uh, if you can't use the F1 key to get into it, then switch this to zero. I'm not sure which one it is. I haven't done really much of any testing with this other than just getting all that. Change yay from your reconnaissance password. This allows you to log into your, uh, log into, well, this remotely, which you're going to want to change. And how you close this is you just click X. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, it's a shitty way of setting things up. Then, uh, change this to something. So, KGS ISP. Beta. And then this is... I don't know what this is. I guess this is where your configs, not configs, but I don't know. I really don't know. This is your logo. I haven't got one set up for this. And then I don't know what this is. I'm not sure what any of this is. But. That's basically all it really is. And now, yeah, that's all I can say. So the reason why you can't just click the run.bat or run.command is just due to the fact that you have to be able to load the server config. And it's a pain in the ass, I know. I don't like it either. So let me just see. So the reason why you also want to change your host name is that way you can kind of tell where you're at. But yeah, it's not hard to get this set up at all once you kind of know what you're doing. But the reason why you want to start up in here is because you need this server config. If you start up in here, it doesn't know where your server config is and what you're going to have to do is just route it to server data, server config, if you do it like that. I wouldn't recommend doing it like that. I just recommend doing what the developers intended. It just makes everything simpler. But you can't just click run.bat because, well, this is what happens. You won't get past this because it doesn't tell you how to do it. And let's not load up that. There's some stuff I don't want you guys to see. All right. So yeah, that's the end of the tutorial today. I hope you all enjoyed, or at least found it somewhat inform informative. But yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Alright guys, so that's the end of today's video. Hopefully that you found this entertaining or helpful, because I worked my ass off for this. It's 
5.20 in the morning. I just got done editing, and I'm not even done now because I'm talking to the microphone to add to the video. If you guys need any help with port forwarding, I'll maybe put a link down in the description, or you can just go back to my old video, and it'll teach you how to port forward. It's still the same thing with the port forwarding. Enjoy.